as the world of AI keeps getting bigger and bigger. We're seeing more ways to build machine learning models and even more ways to save their trained weights. What if you could take a model architecture you like and pair it with any set of pre-trained weights for that model, regardless of what framework was used to create it? That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. My name is Yufeng Guo, and today I'm going to show you how Keras Hub lets you mix and match popular model architectures with model checkpoints from places like Hugging Face Hub. Yes, that means you can run a model checkpoint from Mistral or Llama on Jax, or even load Gemma with PyTorch. But before we dive into how to use Keras Hub, let's distinguish two key concepts, the model architecture versus model weights. Think of the model architecture as the blueprint or structure of the model. It defines how the layers are arranged and what operations happen inside them. We use code with frameworks like Jax, PyTorch, or Keras to describe this structure. Model weights, on the other hand, are the numerical parameters of the model that get tuned or changed during training. These numbers are what give a trained model its power. Sometimes you'll hear weights referred to as checkpoints. A checkpoint is a snapshot of a model's weights at a specific point in time, typically when the model has become really good at a certain task or set of tasks, and the developers want to save that state. So you have the architecture, which is the code, and the weights, which are the trained parameters saved in a checkpoint file. Put them together, and you get a working model. So how does Keras Hub fit into all of this? Keras Hub is a Python library that makes it super easy to work with model architectures. It contains many of the most popular machine learning models, and you can load up your choice of architecture with just a few lines of code. And because it's built on Keras, it supports all three major frameworks, PyTorch, Jax, and TensorFlow. OK, so we have a place to get architectures. What about the weights? That's where a place like Hugging Face Hub comes in. It's a massive repository where the community shares model checkpoints, oftentimes in a format called safe tensors, which Keras Hub understands perfectly. The magic here is that Keras Hub has built-in converters that automatically handle loading these Hugging Face checkpoints into a Keras model, regardless of what framework was used to create it. So this means you can grab a checkpoint from the Hub, even one made with PyTorch, and load it directly into a Keras Hub model running on a Jax or TensorFlow backend. So let's see how this all works in practice. The first thing we need to do is tell Keras which backend we want to use. I'm going to use Jax, but you could just as easily type Torch or TensorFlow here. First up, let's try to run a fine-tuned Mistral model on Jax. I found a cybersecurity-focused model on Hugging Face Hub called Lily. And to load it, we'll use the Mistral Causal LM class from Keras Hub with the from preset method. The key here is to pass the hugging face model path and prefix it with hf colon slash slash. So just like that, we've loaded a community fine-tuned model and are running it on Jax and can generate outputs. Let's try another one. How about Llama 3.1, another hugely popular model. Here is a fine-tuned checkpoint on the hub called xVerify. The process is almost exactly the same. We just swap out the class to say llama3 causal lm. Two lines of code to run the model. Pretty amazing, right? They say 3 is the lucky number, so we'll do one more for good measure. Let's load a fine-tuned Gemma model that acts as a multilingual translator. We'll use the Gemma3 causal LM class and point it to the ERAX translator checkpoint I found on Hugging Face. And there you have it. Three different models, three different community-made checkpoints, all loaded and run seamlessly with just a couple of lines of code each. So as we've just seen, Keras Hub gives you incredible flexibility. 
It separates the model's architecture from its weights, allowing you to bridge that gap between frameworks and checkpoint sources. You can leverage the huge collection of community-tuned models on Hugging Face Hub while maintaining complete control over your choice of backend framework, whether that's JAX, TensorFlow, or PyTorch. By making it simple to mix and match, Keras Hub really empowers you to experiment and build amazing things faster. Do you have a favorite model or checkpoint? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you found this helpful, give this video a like. We've included all the links to Keras Hub, the code we've shown, and a blog post about this topic in the description below. Happy building, and I'll catch you in the next one.